much. Let us discuss nearly three or four model. Okay. Before that, uh, we need to say something about free electron theory. Okay. The free electron theory assumes conduction electrons in a metal experience constant potential, constant or zero potential. That means in free electron theory, we have considered the electrons as as electron gas which can move throughout the body of this metal. Okay, throughout the body of the metal and it cannot go out of the surface. It can move anywhere, it can move freely anywhere within the surface. And the motion of electrons is restricted only by the surface of the crystal. So this uh, electrons cannot move out of the surface but it can move anywhere inside the crystal freely. Okay. And it explains, it could explain specific case, electrical, thermal conductivity and thermionic emission and uh, parameters of okay. By free electron model, we could explain specific case, electrical heat capacity, etc. And it fails to explain the difference between good conductors, semiconductors, and insulators. And in that case, now we are making another electron, another theory that is nearly free electron model. Nearly free electron model treat the crystal as an infinite array of points. Okay. So in nearly free electron model, this is the concept. Uh, it consider it considers the crystal as an infinite array of points. Infinite array of points. Inside a real crystal, there is a periodic arrangement of positive charge ions through the through which the electrons go. Okay. If we consider a metal, if we consider a metal, there will be infinite array of points, array of lattice size, and uh, an atom or molecule attached to this lattice points. Okay. So when electrons become free in metals, electrons can move anywhere in this anywhere in this material inside this material. So uh, from the orbital, when this electron electron gets free, this electron will move away. This electron will move away, and the charge of this ion sides, charge of this sides are positive. Okay, so we can call it as positive ion sides. And inside this real crystal, there is a periodic arrangement of positive charged ions. Okay, after leaving this electron, this arrangements are positive charged ions. This point is this point is the point of positive charged ion. Okay, so all the ion points are charges of um, uh, points of positive charged ion. Okay, and the potential potential of electron and positive ion ion set is zero and maximum in between. Okay, that means. If the electron, the electron comes to this point, near to this point, near to this positive ion side, that will get attracted and minimum potential energy uh, experienced, a uh, minimum potential energy experience of the electron at this positive ion side. Okay. And when it leaves from this positive ion side, then it's when it's moving from moving away from this positive ion side, the attractive force will experience. Okay, the attractive force will experience. At that time, the potential is high. We can take it as P is equal to V0. And the potential varies periodically with the same, same period as the largest. Okay, potential varies periodically. These are the largest points. This is the zero potential area. This is the point at zero potential. And this is the one dimension largest. If we move from this side, then the potential slowly increases. And in the middle, it will get maximum value. And then decreases. And the potential will become zero at this point, largest point. Okay. And uh, this is nearly free electron model. Nearly free electron model says this concept. Okay. When we consider this kind of potential, uh, we can write a Schrodinger question for that potential. D square psi by dx square plus q over h bar square h bar square e minus v of x psi is equal to zero. Okay. And the potential v of x has the periodicity of the lattice. Okay, periodicity of the lattice. The potential at this point will be equal to the potential at this point. That will be equal to the potential at this point. And the potential at this point will be equal to the potential at this point. And that manner. Okay. So we can write V of x is equal to V of x plus a. V of x is equal to V of x plus a. If we consider the potential at this point, that point, that potential will be same as V of x. If we consider the potential at this point is V of x, the, that, that will be equal to V of x at the potential at x plus a, v of x plus a. Okay. And uh, uh, Bloch has shown that an equation of the type 1, this is the equation, this is the equation, equation 1. Equation of the type 1 has the solution of form psi of x is equal to u k of x into e raised to i k x. Okay. This equation has the form, the solution of this equation has the form psi of x is equal to u k of x e raised to i k x. And if we sub uh, substitute this value in this equation, we will get this equation. Uh, the left side LHS is equal to RHS. Okay, so we can use this equation for the solution of this story equation. 
and the three dimension we can write psi psi k of r is equal to u k of r equal into k raised to i k dot r, where u k of r is equal to u k into u k of r plus translation vector, and in one dimension we have x is equal to u k of x plus a u k of x plus a. Okay, this equation is the this relation is the log theorem. Okay, log theorem says that the eigen functions of the wave equation for a periodic potential are the product of a plane wave. This is the equation for plane wave. Product of a plane wave times a function of u k of r times a function of u k of r with the periodicity of the crystal lattice with the periodicity of the crystal lattice. Okay, u k of r is equal to u k of r plus translation vector t. Translation vector means vector drawing from one point to another point having same uh, similar surroundings. Okay, where k is the state of motion of the electron. K is the wave vector. K state corresponding to an electron. Having a momentum p is equal to h cross k. Okay, this is log p.